Can we, can we change the song, please? Yeah. Um, is there anything like more inspirational, um, Celine Dion? For all those times you nice. Yeah, that's better. I love her. I send her tweets all the time. He does. Wait, sorry. I did, uh, yeah, sorry. Did that say Dan and Travis? I think it did, yeah. Can you change it to our Twitter handles, please? Yeah, yeah, it's all about the hashtags. It really is. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Sweet, thanks. You know, we gotta, we gotta build up those followers. And, and the following. Right, of course. Right. Wait, I just thought of something. Are students gonna be seeing this? They are. They are. You know, can you take our Twitter handles off again? You know, gotta keep it professional. Right. Good idea. Sorry. Yeah. Thanks. That'd be great. Why are we here? Good question. Actually, better question. Who are we here? Right. Right. Well, my name's Travis, and uh, I don't want to brag, but some people do call me the social media expert. I'm considered that at my school. Mm. Um, actually, more than just tell them what they call you. Call me. It's that Dr. Twit. They yeah. call me Dr. They Twit. They call him that. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a, I, I wear it like a badge of pride. Yeah, he tells people that all the time. Dr. Twit, it's not short for Twitter. The guy's clueless when it comes to social media. People do call him that, but it's behind his back. And I'm Dan, but don't get us confused just because we look alike. I'm also an expert in social media. I have like 15 or so friends on Facebook, several pending friend requests. I do this daily video blog on YouTube. You've seen it. It's great. I, I watch it every day. Yeah, a couple of them, uh, a couple of the posts have like 12 views. So yeah, and some comments. Even. Yeah, I, I flag them. But yeah, they're a comment. Yeah. And um, so yeah, my skills, are, social media skills, I should say, are right up there with Bell's. Yeah, he's up there with me because all he does is retweet me. One time I tweeted, I'm an idiot because I knew that he would retweet me and he did. <laughs> what an idiot. I tell students all the time, if you need me, tweet at me. I think it really helps me relate to them on their level and it's made teaching so much more effective. students turn in their tests on Instagram. They tag it with the hashtag of their class period and then my name. It works great. Students love it. Plus then I can grade it wherever and whenever. Mobile. And I and I know that students love it because they're all getting 100%. 100%. Oh yeah. Bell's tests are the best. Just look at the answers other people put. We really are the epitome of the 21st century teacher. We're social. We have Twitter. We even have our own hashtag. Social media makes teachers cool. It's up too high? He says it's up too high. It's trending. <laughs> yeah, we use social media effectively, come on. I mean, I tweet about my personal life and my exciting social life all the time. It's so that students know I'm not just a teacher. I'm cool too. He's not, he's really not. To be fair, he probably would tweet about his social life if he had one, I'll give him that. I'm friends with all of my students on Facebook. That kind of thing is important. If I can't be friends with them, how can I lead them? Am I right? I've seen his Facebook. He's only friends with his parents and his distant cousins. Like, really distant. What do I want to teach other teachers about social media? <laughs> I mean, how long do I have? Let me take this one. You see, social media, it's like an ocean, a big vast ocean. And we are ships in that ocean. But students, they're the orcas, the plankton, the starfish, the sea foam. You have to admire his passion but I'm gonna be completely honest, I have no idea what he's talking about. They're the sand. They're the reflection of the moon off the wave's crest. They're the mermaids. The mermen. I've got nothing. They are the school of fish. And we, the fishermen. But maybe we're even more than fishermen. You see, we have I, our I, nets I, and I think our... What, I really think what Dan is getting at here is that social media is big. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, there's lots of options out there, but the most important thing is that we use it appropriately and we meet students where they're at. It, it can be a means of effective communication and really um, targeting those learning lessons and that school culture that we want to capitalize on. That is not what I was saying at all. It's not even close. Social media, it's a fad. You know, handwritten letters, newspapers, they'll be on their way back soon enough. We just need to ride this wave. See, told you the wave. Mm -hmm. Anyway, 
We need to ride this wave until the social media thing washes away. He's just saying that because he can't get anyone to follow him. Sometimes I say things in class that are so profound that I wish I could click like on them or favorite them or retweet them. He's literally never said anything profound in his life, like not one thing. The only reason he still has a job is because he has tenure. I think that's the value of things like Twitter. It, it validates me. Yeah. It quantifies how much people like me. Yeah. With each new follower I get, it shows how much better I'm getting at teaching. It's true. So what's the point of social media? Maybe we should ask you that question. So true. Yeah. So true. Thank you. The experts are experts because of what they know, not because of what they teach. Huh. That was actually pretty profound. Hey, when I'm shouting up through cracks and